Hi there owls, welcome back to Joang Media, the channel where you can learn about software automation, testing, technology and marketing. It's a pleasure to have you here again. Thank you very much for being watching this video. And uh, today we have a very interesting video about how to integrate Cucumber JS with Test Cafe. All right. Uh, it is not going to be a complete video about how to get the integration done because I have found uh, an interesting GitHub repository where well, it is actually integrated and we're going to take a look of, of the basic structure, the basic skeleton of the uh, framework. And um, we'll, we'll try to make a simple um, well, test scenario and step definition to show you uh, how it works in, in the basic terms. And if you want to keep working and actually keep learning about maybe how to integrate the page object model with uh, with the cucumber model with the bdd model we can go ahead and try to do that all right so uh, let's try to uh, at, at the beginning uh, take a look of uh, the basic um, meanings the basic concepts that we have to do that, that that we have to know right so basically uh, bdd or behavior driven development is a software development process all right um, it is a way for software teams to work that closes the gap between business people and technical people. It is a lot of theory, it is a lot of um, processes, a lot of, well, actually, personas uh, integrated that, they or actually, uh, that has to uh, take decisions in this process. And uh, a lot of concepts that we're gonna uh, take a look right now because. Well, it, it should be a topic of some uh, other video, but I just wanted to let you know that BDD is a software development process. It's, it's a full culture and Cucumber was built to support that. Um, there is a lot of, uh, that's more than Cucumber, uh, or actually there is more things than Cucumber to understand behavior driving development. All right, but let's try to uh, focus on this beautiful tool cucumber and uh, as you can see here um, we, we can take a, a look of different uh, stuff over here for example cucumber reads executable specification written in a plain text and validates that the software does what those specifications say all right so as you can see here in this um, in this scenario we have different instructions that can uh, actually are very uh, very readable and um, well using cucumber we can uh, tra uh, translate those um, executable specifications into code and uh, well um, it is gonna be amazing right because you are gonna have a clear vision of what is happening in a, in an execution. If, if if something fails, we will see an X or for, uh, as a failure, right? But in that particular, um, well, actually, a specification. For example, if my scenario is a scenario is a breaker guesses a word, and something happens in the in the then um, specification, we're gonna have an X in that particular part, and we're not gonna have or we we can, we're gonna have an idea of what is happening where the the issue is happening and we can go ahead and, and take a look of that so um this is something important in order for cucumber to understand the scenarios they must follow some basic syntax rules and those syntax rules are called gherkin all right this uh, syntax over here is called gherkin there is a lot of uh, different uh, keywords a lot of different um, well uh, different syntax itself that we have to learn to use with Gherkin all right a uh, Gherkin service and mul multiple purposes uh, unambiguous executable specifications automated testing using cucumber document how the system actually behaves and uh, that's basically cu cucumber the um, well Gherkin documents are stored in and in that that feature text file all right they are typically versioned in the search in the source control alongside the software so if you want to take a look more information about gherkin you can go ahead click in this uh, link and you will 
actually have a lot of information about Burger King. This is just an introduction uh, for this particular uh, <laughs> for this particular word, actually. Um, well, let's take a look about what is or what are step definitions. Basically, uh, step definitions connect Burger King steps. All right, so this kind of steps with um, or actually to a programming code. A step definition carries out the action that should be performed by the step. As you can see in this kind of graphic, <laughs> you can see that we have here the steps in Burger King, all right? And uh, we have to have another layer if we want to uh, watch or actually understand this in this particular way. And when, uh, well, actually the step definitions are gonna be used to manipulate the system, all right? And that's how uh, we can translate the steps in code and the code is gonna manipulate the system so it is gonna be something like that using for example when and we have a function and uh, here we have a parameter that we can use then to make a different action we'll try to understand this with a practical example a very simple example in in a, in a few seconds I just want to let you know that I have found this particular and amazing um, GitHub uh, repository. I highly recommend you to download it and try to take a look because it's very good. And I and I know that uh, we're not gonna take um, a lot of review of, of this. And but if you want, we can uh, well continue working in this in this project in a new in in, in a future video. Well, uh, I have uh, well uh, cloned that repository in my computer. And I'll try to uh, give you an overview of of this particular uh, framework. As you can see in the package.json file, we have well all the dependencies that we need for uh, Cucumber. In this particular case, I have Cucumber.js. Um, I have the um, well the dependency for Test Cafe, and um, well I have another one over here that is used by but uh, by Cucumber to take screenshots if uh, screenshots if i am not wrong and we have here different uh, scripts that uh, well the repository actually uh, had so as you can see in the features folder over here i have well two different features and uh, well the step definitions for each of them and also i have a support folder uh, that will actually have the pages uh, for the page object model that the GitHub page uh, uh, uses and uh, also uh, JS files that Cucumber uses to get a uh, will actually integrate a test cafe with a uh, Cucumber it is a lot of, of theory that we have to cover but that's the main and the basic understanding of, of what is happening in this framework right so um if you want to take a look more in depth about what is happening, this repository has uh, a lot of documentation. It, it is amazing. For example, it says that uh, if we want to know about how Cucumber uh, uh, is using the power in Test Cafe, we just have to click here and it is going to explain us what is happening in depth with these particular examples that we have in the repository. It's amazing. And uh, well, well, we will try to uh, actually uh, create um, well uh, a test using Cucumber, right? We're gonna have a very basic example, but I think that it is gonna be useful to get and understand the basics of this beautiful language and well, actually, a um, tool which is Cucumber, Cucumber, right? So that's good. So let's let's start working on this. And um, I'm gonna try to do something over here. I'm gonna create a, um, a new feature here. It is gonna be named a uh, login that feature. All right, we're gonna start working with a similar example uh, or actually a case that we have actually um, covered in this channel before. And it is gonna be using a, a particular website that I'm gonna show you right away. <laughs> I know that you know this, this website. Let me just copy the uh, URL. Give me a few seconds to just copy this, and you will see that you know this website. It is the the medical login page. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna try to uh, um, well uh, emulate this scenario. I'm gonna just enter the username. I'm gonna enter the correct password, 
and we will see the uh, uh, well, uh, you logged into a secure area message, a successfully message, right? So we'll try to um, emulate a single or a normal assertion just using Cucumber, all right? So let's go ahead. Um, I'm gonna uh, continue working on my uh, feature file, all right? I'm gonna start working with the feature uh, over here, all right? I'm gonna, mm -hmm, I think that I'm, I'm fine, right? Let me just see what is happening here, login that feature. Uh huh, I think that I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna just um, actually um, name the, the feature. It is gonna be name long login feature, all right? That's, sounds good. Then I'm gonna place a, a small description of it. Um, and I'm gonna place, for example, as a client, uh, I can log in in the signing, for example, or um, no, I'm logging. I'm not sure how it's pronounced. Let, let me just take a look at the website. Uh, the login, all right. In the login, uh, I can log in in the website. It's fine. Then uh, I'm gonna start with the uh, a scenario, right? I'm gonna just place a scenario here, and I'm gonna place the scenario name. It is gonna be signing or actually log in uh, end to end a uh, scenario, for example. That's good. And then I'm gonna start uh, well using the structure of given, when, and then. Okay, so let's 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 do it. I'm gonna start working with given. All right, given. Uh huh. And I don't need the, this. All right, that's good. So I'm gonna start working with, for example, uh, well, the first thing that we have to do is open the web the website, right? So. Uh, I open the login page. That's good. Then I have to. Um, I'm gonna use the, uh, the the keyword when. All right, and I'm gonna use it to enter the different uh, stuff that we have to do. The the well, actually, fill the information. All right. So I enter the username, for example, and I'm gonna use an string here to uh, decorate or actually uh, set the Tom Smith. A string that I need to log in successfully. It is Tom Smith. If I am not wrong, I hope I hope that I'm not. Then I'm gonna use the word uh, the keyword and to uh, keep uh, actually filling the information. I enter uh, the password and I'm gonna uh, well actually enter the password that we need to um, for actually uh, logging in the website password all right and then uh, i have to actually place another and it is gonna be i click on the signing uh, button actually i'm sorry login button all right there it is then i'm I actually i'm gonna use the the word then all right, we're gonna verify if the behavior is actually behavior is actually working fine or actually is the expected one. So I'm gonna use this uh, syntax over here: a success, a successful uh, message is displayed. Right, as you can see, this uh, feature actually describes the 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 user flow to get a successfully message. All right, as you can see, as a client, I can log in in the website. That's the feature. And uh, the scenario is gonna be uh, successfully looking in end-to-end -end scenario. So, um, given uh, I open the login page and when I enter the username, the password, and the login, and I click the login button, then the response should be a, a, a successfully message, right? And I should place here a successful. successfully looking all right there it is so now that we have declared our uh, login that feature file where we have to um well start writing down the step definitions because as as i as i saw before with you we need the step definitions to uh, kind of interpret and translate the uh, gherkin into um into language to well actually perform different actions in the system so I'm gonna just click on the step definitions and I'm gonna, uh, well, actually create a new JS file name, uh, login, if I'm not wrong, login.js. 
I just want to, uh, all right, I'm fine. And in the login.js file, in the steps definition, I have to start, uh, well, actually, um, well, uh, defining the, the things that we have to do, all right? <coughs> I'm sorry. So I'm gonna start with this. I need the uh, the const to declare the, the well, actually, some things or actually bring uh, to this particular uh, js uh, some um, let's say keywords from or functions from cucumber so i need the given i need to when and i need then all right and um, i'm gonna just uh, actually uh, require this from cucumber all right that's good and it has to be in lowercase that's good right and also i need to declare and actually bring the selector and i'm instead of um well I, i'm actually gonna require this from test cafe right uh -huh. e and i'm gonna just bring the selector over here that's good now i'm gonna start uh, translating this feature into code basically all right i'm gonna start with given so how how i can do that it, i'm gonna start uh, with the keyword given that i have imported or required and inside of it i'm gonna use the same feature uh, syntax that i have declared here i open the login page okay but in a string of course <laughs> i'm gonna um, actually declare an asynchronous function to start working with this and um, all right, there it is. I'm gonna open up the function, and here, there we are. We can start working with with Cucumber right now and declaring the step definition. So the first thing that I have to do here when I open the login page is actually uh, await test controller, right? Uh, await test controller to well actually access the API of Test Cafe. Then. I have to navigate to, right, navigate to, and the website that we are actually testing, which is this one, and there it is, and uh, I think that that's it, right, I don't have to do anything else over here, if I'm not wrong, <coughs> I'm sorry, and I'm gonna uh, keep working on the uh, login JS. so now I have to declare the when, when I enter the username Tom Smith, so how I can do that, how how I can uh, make Test Cafe and Cucumber understand this, all right? So basically, I'm gonna declare the keyword when I enter the username and I'm gonna declare a string over here, all right? Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna declare an asynchronous function and I am going to use the string that I was expecting over there which is username and then if I am not wrong I can do this and inside of the function I can start working with things that I need and uh, in this particular case what I have to do is declare an input a uh, variable right to actually get it or well get the selector for this uh, input uh, or text box so let input selector and we will uh, actually look for the selector which is in this particular case input username why yeah as you remember if you haven't seen the last videos uh, i'm not sure why why you <laughs> why you haven't seen that but as you can see here if i look for this selector you can see that it is actually referring to this selector so and uh, i have to do something else over here because um well actually cucumber needs something else to um well works with selector which is this function with and i'm gonna use bound test run all right and i'm gonna um return or actually uh, specify the test controller what is actually doing this bound test run, if I am not wrong, uh, it is actually used to uh, call a selector from Node.js callback. So we can assign the current test uh, controller to the uh, bound test run option. <coughs> I'm sorry. 
So that's it. We, that's how we can play with different selectors uh, using Cucumber right now. So once we have done that, uh, the, the next step that we have to do is actually type the username right in the selector that we that we have defined. So I'm gonna use the keyword uh, await test controller again, and I am going to use uh, the function type right type text. And inside of type text, I'm going to use a uh, well the input selector that we have defined, and then I am going to uh, actually get or actually type the username that I have from the Gary King over here, which is username. All right, there it is. I think so. Yeah. So uh, then the same um, strategy it is used for the different stuff that I have to do over here. So I'm gonna um, well actually I enter the password here. I'm gonna change the feature file uh, over here, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna uh, well get the the password in a string, and I'm gonna change this for password. And we have to change username for password in the selector. We know that because that's well known from the past videos. <laughs> password, if I am not wrong, probably I'm wrong. I'm not sure. And uh, then I use the same structure, bound test from blah, blah, blah. And I, then I have to well change the username to password to get well actually play with the parameter that I'm that I'm using in this function. Then, uh, well, it is pretty practically the same when I click on button. The f but the unique exception over here is that I don't need a parameter, right? I'm just gonna delete that. And the, the actually the gherkin and the syntax change there with a I click on the login button. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I just entered this in the string and there it is. I don't need a select. I, I actually need a selector. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. And it is going to be a change to button because I need to click on the login button. Inside of the selector, I need to point to a um, button because that's the selector for this particular button. <laughs> And uh, well, I have to change type text for actually click because I don't have to type anything else. And inside of the click, I have to actually pass the selector that I am actually looking for. And there it is, I think so. And then I have to actually use the keyword then. Mm -hmm. And inside of the then, I'm gonna well actually write down the, the instruction that I have declared in the Gherkin in the, in the step definition. And I'm gonna make the same stuff. I'm gonna uh, make an asynchronous function. I'm going to actually um, will play with different stuff here. It, it is practically the same. Um, <coughs> uh, I'm gonna well actually um, well I have to declare a, a selector too here, which is gonna be response card response card is going to be equal to selector i have to declare the selector inside of this it is going to be diff flash because i know the selector already and um well I i'm trying to actually get this uh, message right so uh, the flash and uh, i have to use the same structure that uh, that we used before which is this one all right there it is i just delete one dot and there it is so uh well here we're gonna use a a actually an assertion you can use well this this assertion you want but i'm gonna use uh well actually contains i'm not wrong i'm happy with that i'm gonna use test controller and i'm gonna use the uh, keyword expect to well actually use the assertion um method that provide uh, actually test cafe provide us i'm gonna use um over here a response card all right because that's the selector that we have defined here and we're gonna get the inner text that this selector has all right i'm gonna use that contains to will actually validate if that inner text is the correct one we're gonna look for this particular text that i'm gonna show you here it is tom smith super secret password there and if i click on that that's the message that i want <laughs> there it is so there it is the uh, the response that i want so as you have seen this we are actually translating the gherkin language into a um, well 
how we can say this? Um, well, actually, it is a step, a step definitions, right? If I'm not wrong, yeah. So we're trying to translating uh, plain English to a uh, programming language. <laughs> That's it. So if I run this um, test, I probably will get this the result that I that I want, and I hope so. <laughs> so let's take a look of how we can run this. Well, the the repository has already a command, a script that we can execute, which is test. And here we are, we're gonna run this, I'm gonna minimize that, and I'm gonna run npm run test. And as you will see, probably it will be opening a web browser, particularly and specifically a uh, Google Chrome, and it should be opening a, uh, well, uh, the website I want, and doing the steps that I want to, I hope so, let's see. It is clicking all in, and as you can see, well, the scenario one it has passed, and all the five steps has passed too. So everything is working fine. But imagine that uh, we we actually are having different uh, scenario. We don't have you logged in. I want to get, for example, a um, test. So my test is gonna fail. So in order to see how we can uh, actually read the um, the Gherkin and how how it looks when something or yeah something um, fails all right let's see <coughs> sorry it is gonna fail of course and in console you will see that probably well uh, let's take a look at this take a look at this you can see that it says that well actually all the given step the when step and all the preconditions work successfully right however we have a next in the then in the in the well when we want when we are actually validating that uh, we have a successful message it is not displaying that successful message and we have actually a readable specification of what is happening we are understanding in the same moment what is happening in this error so that's basically uh, what cucumbers help us to uh, to do and uh, it is just an introduction uh, that we have to uh, think about i know that this is a pretty single or simple scenario if you want to get this um well integrated with with the page object model we can try to do it but let me know that in the comment section below and i'll try to do it Thank you very much for watching the video. I, ha I hope that you uh, enjoy this. And uh, well, we'll try to. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll try to. We'll keep uh, working on this kind of videos to help you out with different problems out there. Thank you very much for watching the video. See you in the next one. Bye bye.